I want to preach to you, superintendents, pastors, and leaders. We're called to speak up. We're called to say something. Beyonce just released sacrilege. The only thing I can account for some of this stuff is somebody done sold their soul to the That's devil. It, devil. Right. Now, all I can say to you is this. When you sell your soul to the devil, you get the short end of the stick. Because you, you're not going to live but so long. And when you leave here, where you're going, you're going to be there forever. So it's not, it's not, it's not a good deal. I don't care what he gives you. But this piece of trash yes, sir. that's released. Yes, sir. And she named it Church Girl. Church. Now, I had thought to try to read the lyrics to you. But I struggled to listen to them. It's too bad. It's too bad. It's not for public consumption. It would, it would be a desecration if I read this. And uh, I don't recommend it. You know, parents, I know all, all you little children, got, they're all of them, three months old, they got a cell phone. But I don't recommend <laughs> that you let them listen to this. It is, it's, it's, it's the worst. You can, am I right? It's the worst. You can't get and to, 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 to sample the song of a real church lady, yes, tweak a clock, to, I don't know whether she knew what she was going to do with the song or not. Uh, she knows she's not saved. I don't talk about anything that's not public. Yes, sir. Anything that's public is fair game. Yes, and I pray to God that a stiff denunciation of what she did yes, with that song is put out. Yes. It shows that we we're not speaking up. Ain't nobody, don't nobody respect the church. The world don't respect the church. So you can't win the world enamored by them. I'm just so proud that somebody was going to use my music. What do you mean? You're one of the best in the world. You're preaching, sir. You're preaching, sir. You're preaching, sir. We, we sang for Jesus. I, I tell you what did uh, help me. Uh, Marshetta just released, where is she at? Released hers. And that's the one you need to buy. That's the one. Got a good beat to it, if you feel like shouting. Yes, sir. A sanctified, unmistakably sanctified message. Amen. Amen. And you know, can't nobody sing any better. But for, to show this kind of disrespect for the church, and what's sad is this, there will be church people who will defend it. But let me tell you something, I'm not, I'm not bothered by those who defend that kind of garbage. I'm bothered by those who say nothing. You're the one. Who angers me? Am I right? President, the late President Richard Milhouse Nixon said, nothing hurt him. You know, because you know he was criticized for Watergate. He said, nothing hurt him as bad as the indifference of his friends. 
It just bothers me when we go silent, when we go neutral. Do you not know? I'm going to preach this in a minute. Do you not know that in the Bible there are no demilitarized zones? Jesus said, he that is not for me is against me. And he who is not gathering together is scattering abroad. Now whose side are you on? Well, the Lord hadn't led me to say anything. Uh, God's gonna kill you for telling that lie. When the Lord, when the Lord calls you, he, when He calls you, we all call. Y'all said today, I've been reading it to you for a reason. You're gonna defend the doctrine of the church. You're gonna preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, now, when you see obvious wrong, obvious wrong, how much lead, how much do you have to be led to say something against obvious wrong? I tell you one thing about the world, the world don't need any leading. Now I do admire, now I do admire that about him. I, now I, I admit, I, I admire that about the sinner. Now the sinner is committed. 